So a lot of you have been asking, okay, so now that the prices have been linked for the eight core 16 thread CPUs from Ryzen, what about the rest of the lineup? What about benchmarks? What about motherboard prices? Well, that was actually all leaked just about a day ago. So let's get into that. There's a lot of information to cover. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JD from JD Tech here and welcome back to the channel where we talk about PC passion, setup design, tech reviews and unboxing. So if you wanna see more stuff like that, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. So today we're gonna to talk about a lot of stuff. Benchmarks, the rest of the Ryzen lineup CPU prices and also uh, motherboard prices and some box art as well. A lot's been leaked. Is this actually leaking or are they just spewing out information? So nothing's set in stone, especially when we're dealing with leaks. They are almost official, but it's from a credible source that has most likely very accurate information. So with that being said, I have a couple articles pulled up about all the different aspects I just talked about that was just recently leaked. So first, let's talk about the rest of the prices for the entire Ryzen lineup. So I'm going to put it up here on the screen. I'm not going to read them all out, but this is pretty good pricing, especially starting out with the four core eight thread starting at about $175 at the Ryzen 5 1300 with a base clock of 3.2 gigahertz and a boost clock of 3.5 gigahertz. Those are some pretty good specs right there. So our entry level CPUs are looking great. They're at a great price of four core eight thread CPUs starting out at $175. So you'll notice at the end of the title, the specific CPU, there's an X. I'm assuming that the X means that it's overclockable and we don't really have those specs yet on what it's gonna be overclockable to. So these are all really good prices. I mean, they're offering a wide variety of processors here at a very affordable price. So you might be thinking, wow, I'm covering a lot of Ryzen stuff. Well, yeah, because I'm not really pro Intel or pro AMD. I'm pro consumer um, because if there's just one person owning the market, they can charge whatever they want. It doesn't matter. But anyways, moving on from the prices alone, let's talk about some of the benchmarks. So this is also from WCCF Tech, where here we have our 3D Mark Firestrike physics scores. And then you can see um, they have these like weird titles on the benchmarks. So just to clarify, the 38 slash 34 at the end of the title is the eight core CPU from Ryzen. The 37 slash 33 is the six core, and the 34 slash 32 is the quad core. So I'm not gonna read out all the scores, but I think it's pretty impressive that of course, that the eight core CPU is nearly matched with the 6950X from Intel. Of course, that's the base clock of the 6950X and that's the boost clock of the 1800X up at the top there. So obviously there's gonna be a difference when there's a boost clock. But also keep in mind that these are synthetic scores um, and these are not optimized towards AMD. Um, Intel has had these CPUs out, so they've been optimized over the time that they've been out. So the favors more towards Intel right now as far as the benchmarks go. Even then, this is all still leaks. Um, this is kind of just giving you an idea of what kind of performance we're having but this is not the true actual performance until we actually get the chips in our computers. So until that said, um, you have to take this with a grain of salt, so we can't really abide by it too strongly. We're just gonna discuss the core per core performance just very briefly and just seeing what that's like. So the AMD Ryzen CPUs are all kind of grouped together. The more cores you have in a CPU doesn't really justify towards the amount of performance it has per core. So if a quad core has great performance and then you just double it, doesn't mean you're gonna have the same amount of performance for each core that you had originally for the four core as for the eight core. So just judging from the core per core performance here, even then, the eight core Ryzen CPU still outperforms a single core performance from the 6950X, and the rest of the CPUs are all pretty much in the same margin, with the 7700K all the way at the top of the benchmark. Obviously, because that's the latest Intel uh, chip, and it's also a quad core, so that one is obviously gonna have much better uh, core per core performance. So I don't wanna go too deeply into the benchmarks. We can't really gauge that too much. Um, benchmarks require a lot to really judge this to really judge the performance of these CPUs we have to get a lot of testing and hands-on experience with them and until it's officially released and not just leaked 
Also, like I said, optimization and everything like that. So there's a lot to consider here. So moving on, let's talk about motherboard prices. And I'll throw this up at the screen as well, but this is also from WCCF Tech. They've been covering Ryzen like crazy people. But anyways, we have several different boards here. We have the X370, the B350, the A320, and the X300, all from ASUS. Remember, this is just one brand, but this is just giving you an idea of what kind of pricing we can expect on the ASUS motherboards. So for the X370, it's gonna be in around the $130 price range. For the B350, we're looking at $100 to a $60 price range. For the A320, about a $60 price range. And for the X300, about for the 130 plus uh, price range. So anywhere from 60 to um, about $200 we can expect these motherboards to be, which is absolutely insane, which means that you can get a six core, 12 thread CPU from AMD and also a nice motherboard from ASUS for about 300 to 400 dollars that's incredible that's awesome um, to get that kind of combination and not have to pay over 500 dollars where you can easily blow 500 dollars on just a motherboard alone i think that's pretty awesome so with that being said that's just kind of a price gauge to really understand now all the specifics of the motherboard itself and all that um, I'm not going to go too deeply into because there's still a lot of information that's left blank and we don't know a lot towards that. But what we can get from this is that we kind of know what the pricing is going to be like for the motherboards, for the CPUs, and what kind of performance, all taken with a grain of salt because this is all leaked information. But this is all credible slash validated uh, information. Um, even when it's released and these prices aren't exactly accurate, but we can kind of assume what these price ranges are going to be around. And obviously, this is going to be a lot more affordable than Intel. And I am not pro AMD or pro Intel, I'm just pro consumer because when, when one brand owns the whole entire market, they can charge whatever they want. Competition is good. That's who I'm voting for. So we also have some Ryzen box art as well. I'm going to throw that up on the screen. I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, what do you guys think about this? What do you think about the prices? What do you think about the performance? Obviously, you have to take all this with a grain of salt, but let me know what you guys think. This is a lot of information to cover. You're probably going to have to go over this information a couple more times to really digest it. I know I still am. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. So if you guys want to see more like this where we discuss PC, passion, setup design, and everything else, consider subscribing, and I will catch you guys next time.